Welcome to the Spring Classic Preview Show. This is Commissioner David Patterson for Pioneer Football League. We have gone to every single one of the Spring Classic team's practices. We have spoken to the coaches, we've spoken to players, and everybody is ready for another great year of Pioneer Football League action. So let's start with uh, last week and how things went. We started off with the Bronx Colts over at 161st Street, Bakum's Dam Park. We saw them out there in full force, the defending champions. Uh, looking pretty good out there. They have some new additions that are going to be pretty interesting to see. Uh, Coach Black and Coach Chuck are working hard getting those guys ready. We saw the coaching staff expand. Uh, a couple other guys, some familiar faces, have been added to the staff over there. Um, from what we've seen in the past when it comes to uh, Bronx Colt lineage and what have you. So they're pretty excited over there. It looks like the players are looking forward to defending their crown for the 2014 season. Let's go, offense. Pioneer Football League. Okay, Colts practice. Bronx Colts are defending Pioneer Football League spring champions. They're back to work. Moving across the uh, Bronx, we took a look at the Bronx Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, still with some young faces over there, their 15-17 program did very well last year. Um, they're going at it again. So when the 15-17 moves up and does the Spring Classic, you would think that they would be outmatched, but that's just quite frankly not the case. As we saw last year, those guys are going to continue to push the envelope and try to get a couple wins in the spring. And uh, they don't know the whole we're not supposed to win because we're young message because uh, they're aiming for a championship again this year. A lot of talk of going over the hump and uh, going from championship runner-up to championship trophy. So we uh, saw a lot of action out of there. They're working on some special teams. Coach Mike, Coach O'Neill um, doing a fine job over there. From there, we went on to Bronx Seahawk practice. The Seahawks have some new, uh, fresh faces added to the mix. Fridge is over there working really, really hard. Uh, Coach Eric has uh, gotten that program off the ground and really looking to take that next step to become a solid, solid program. So we shall see if they can turn that corner and become one of those uh, you know, staple cornerstone type teams in the league, which they're aiming to do. So they do have a couple of additions over there that could move them into that uh, into that realm. But we shall see. Uh, you know, they're going to have some tough competition ahead of them. As in, in the background, you see the quietness of the Bronx Seahawks, who are practicing in Harlem. So I'm not sure if they're the Harlem Seahawks or the Bronx Seahawks. And as you can see, there are a couple of nights. So I'm thinking this went with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles combined and became the Steagles, whether this is the uh, Seahawks or the Neoks. I don't know. So let's take a look at Brooklyn Pharaohs practice out in Brooklyn. We were at Gershwin Park. We saw that those guys working at it, and what we really saw from them, a lot of preparation. When they were doing their drills and such, you saw the attention to detail, specifically when it came to their week one opponent. They were really tuned into exactly what the game plan was, so they were in full game prep mode when we were out there. So, great job by Coach Hugh and them over there. So. We shall see if the new kids on the block can make some waves in the spring. We are at Brooklyn Pharaohs practice. Coach Hugh and the guys have the defending champs, Bronx Colts. First game on the schedule. The next team that we went out to, we went over the bridge and checked out the Staten Island Bandits. And uh, we love the Staten Island Bandits. They went on hard times last year, but it looks like they have uh, begun their rehabilitation process and are back at it again. Have new faces in that program as well that uh, are young enough to get, get them through the fall season as well. So they'll continue to build and see if they can uh, grow that product into another uh, great Pioneer Football League organization. Last but not least, we had the Brooklyn Bobcats. We went out there on Monday to check out 
Bobcat practice. Mama Bobcat and uh, company are really excited for this season. Uh, we, we have something in the works when it comes to the new head coach of the Bobcats as Tony is trying to move himself away from the coaching end and concentrate on the ownership end. But we don't want to give that to you. We'll have their week one opponent be surprised and figure out who's patrolling the sidelines and in what capacity. So, But the Bobcats got their helmets all painted. They're ready to roll. And uh, a fine organization that we absolutely love to have uh, as part of the Pioneer Football League uh, for, the, for the third year. So that's the Spring Classic roster. Again, we're uh, coming down to the last week. We uh, encourage players to make sure they get into camps and get some uh, work in, uh, even if you're adding a little bit late to the roster. The Spring Classic has open rosters up until week four. Um, once the playoffs stop, start, you cannot add to the roster. So make sure if you're thinking about playing that you get to one of those locations and uh, get on a roster quick before um, it's too late. A lot of the programs are not uh, taking new players past a certain point because uh, their their rosters are pretty jammed up with players. So for the Pioneer Football League, we have uh, just a few a few, just a few uh, days left till uh, the opener. We're going to give you some updates on the younger programs and what they're doing, and the uh, expansion of the Pioneer Football League for the 2014 season. Uh, till next week, and we'll show you some action. Uh, we're going to be broadcasting live. DJ Brown is going to be uh, broadcasting the for Spring Classic games for the, the first two games. Um, we'll see uh, him in action and we'll give you a full broadcast schedule. So if you cannot physically make it out to the game, which you definitely should be making it out to the game, but if you can't get there for one reason or another, you can check it out on Ustream. Uh, www.ustream.tv backslash channel backslash DJ Brown 2320. For the Pioneer Football League, this is Commissioner Patterson. See you in a week.